Okay, so we are going to load on the inside over on the other side. So we got to do the tricky, which is go out here and we got to do a we got to do a 180 and come back into the building. That's always fun. You got to swing way out here to do this. Make sure you don't hit the buildings or anything else. And what you really got to do, you got to go in here like this. Some guys will try to flip, just flip around. They're going to they won't make it through that door you're too long you'll clip the door every time so you take it you down that road there and then you back her up and then all you got to do is pull in it's the easiest way I'm telling you the easy easy easiest way yeah. you just try to flip around man you'll clip that door and you buying some parts of your trailer and buying them a door and man you don't want to do all that Do that later on. And all right, I think we're parked in that space. Nice. Let's go do some work. And we're done. Well, done and load or done loading. Oh, we gotta go back out here to the strap down, tarp down lot. Do all that mess. Oh, but the difference between here and Vidor is that Vidor they load you up single coils. It's about the same weight. But the coils are bigger there, so it's actually longer on your trail than here. Uh, so the steel tarps fit much better on these than they do on the on the ones from Biden. Now we get to brave the journey back down. You gotta swing out for this, man. You gotta basically look like you're gonna hit the fence before you start to turn, or you'll clip this building, like so many have done, it looks like. And you gotta go over here toward the, toward the bridge. Like you're gonna hit the bridge. <sighs> yeah. 
then you've made it. Oh, it is a it is a pain in the butt. Certainly a cluster, I'll tell you. So there she is. We gotta throw our straps, put our tarps on. It's too cold for y'all out here though. Get back in the truck. All right, so we're done. It's not my best tarp job in the world, but it'll do. It's just cold, man. Oh, I'm gonna fix a, I don't know. I've got some brats in here. I'm gonna fix a brat and then we're gonna get out of here. Uh, you do not have to wait to get back out of here. So we just leave whenever we feel like it. Oh, my brat is made. My destination is set. We got 542 miles to go. I am not going to Iowa 80. That's for sure. It wanted me to go to Iowa 80 and across Iowa. I don't think so. I'm going to go down south towards St. Louis and then back over. I know that's clear. Woo. Let's go. here in the middle of nowhere Illinois about to turn on to whatever this road is over here the temperature's gone up that's good this is like 45 degrees better than this morning when it was nine degrees said it felt like minus four that's cold man cold like it. Speaking of winter, 
Let's talk about what you're gonna need to come when you come out here flat bedding in the winter. You're gonna need a couple of things. Ah, that's bright. First off, you're gonna need some sunglasses, apparently. <laughs> uh. Now, you're gonna need a big old coat. Something insulated. Uh, it's, it's just, man, it is cold in some of these places. And you're not gonna have perfect weather. It's gonna be snowing. You're not gonna be on the inside doing all of your stuff all the time. So you need something that's going to keep you warm. I think I got my coat at Loves or something. I think it was like 50 bucks. You go spend your $200 on a good Carhartt insulated, thermal, whatever, if you feel like it. The next thing you're going to need is good boots. Don't come out here with cracks in your soles or thin leather or any of that stuff man pay for some boots trust me if you got to get by with with you know thirty dollar boots from walmart until you make you're making a couple of paychecks that's fine but when you get a couple of paychecks and you get you get see a little bit of money coming in man go get you some good boots insulated i wear mine all the time they keep my feet warm to keep my feet cool or uh, uh, dry. Can't work with wet feet. You're gonna need some good socks. Some good winter socks. I don't like really the thick ones. They make my feet sweat. I don't like that. But some 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 decent socks to keep you warm. Gloves. I've got several pair of gloves. I've got a thermal. I've got a thermal line pair of gloves. They're a little thick, though. I only use those when I have to. It's hard to hard to maneuver stuff with those on. Uh, I have a I have a my set of work gloves, and then I got a thin pair of gloves that I'll wear underneath my work gloves. So I have two pairs of gloves on. Man, your fingers are the first thing that's going to get cold. Trust me. And leather on those gloves that just does not doesn't protect you at all you're gonna need you're gonna need some kind of uh, maybe thermal neck gaiter or like my Elmer foot hat or a ski cap something to keep your ears warm your neck warm back of your head warm a knit sock or a knit cap will do that. You get you a two mini ski mask. Just don't go robbing any banks. What else? I like to dress in layers, so I carry I carry another uh, like a, a hoodie with me, a sweatshirt material. Just in case, you can always take layers off to get hot. But I think that's about it. That ought to keep you warm, you hope. Let's go to Missouri.